you think it's wrong for me to even say anything at all, huh? No, you could make mention that they're gone. See, I mean, these railroad cars were parked all the way out here, you know, two miles out of Darlington. All the way out. All the way out, in Jesus' name. I speak this. You know, I, I was uh, I was moved uh, by the living God. It was God's will. It was God's will that they that something was said about these cars, Norfolk Southern, the railroad, storing them here in Darlington. For how long they were there? They were there for how long? A couple years, anyway. Maybe maybe four years. And something was said in Jesus' name to our congressional representative here, Chris Delugio in um, 17th district here and uh, this is we live in Beaver County this is where Darlington Township is and um, well uh, Doug Mastriano who else was um, Governor uh, oh, excuse me Senator Casey Governor Shapiro our, you know the the, uh, the uh, administration Biden administration they were all sent videos of these of the these uh, those tankers, those railroad uh, cars from Norfolk Southern being stored here, I mean, right in town in Darlington, and today is the second of July, and what do I see? They're all gone. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Now my wife is like, well, you shouldn't say anything, uh, you know, like you've done anything. I didn't do anything. I could not move one of those cars, but Hallelujah, God, the living God caused to become that you know that, that the railroad was convicted over it and I would I would conjecture to say that that there was there was an um, how can I put this either our congressmen senators our governor the administration they, they had something to something to say about this they said something to Norfolk Southern and had these things removed had had them removed now my wife she's not not in so much agreement with that I don't know what do you think honey or you're not gonna say anything this whole this whole drive now I'm taking is from uh, we were we were on Candleton Road and now we're gonna cross 51 we're heading into Darlington there were these you know hybrid tanker kind of like um, containers these you know railroad containers that were stored here and and I had published, you know, videos about it and sent them out to our representatives. And I'm thankful, I'm so thankful in Jesus' name that something was done about it. They're not here. They're gone, everyone. Hallelujah. It just goes to show, you know, you don't have to be um, acquiescent about these things. You can speak up. You can ask your representative, your representatives, you know, to, to please help you to do something about that. You don't have to have, you know, a hazardous... You know, material containers. We don't know what is in the, these tankers and what have you. They store in these small towns all across our nation. They store them there because they don't have to pay for security. Because the local sheriff, constables, the you know, local authorities in these small towns, they they feel it's their responsibility as well to look after these things. And I don't know if there is any money exchanged by the railroad with some of them. You know, I don't know. But a lot of the... Uh, the authorities in these small towns, they just take it upon, they just take it upon their shoulders to go ahead and they'll do something. If someone's messing with that railroad property, they'll say something. They'll call the railroad. They'll chase someone off from vandalizing, you know, the, the railroad's property. Hear me. I'm speaking the truth. So they exploit that goodwill, that goodwill of the, of the decent people that live in these uh, small towns across our nation. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's just wonderful that I'm sharing this with y'all. And if y'all are just a few people, I don't know if anyone gets to watch this video. The, 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 rail, the, the railroad had stored, I don't know how many, nor see how many railroad containers do you think were uh, at least two miles out of town and going all the way into town. It, it, uh, children's swing sets. You know, literally within five, six, eight feet from these containers, you know, here in Darlington. They're all moved now, guys. Ladies, gentlemen, isn't this just wonderful? So here I am in Darlington, and I'm in Jesus' name. This is the 2nd of July. It's Sunday. I'm, it doesn't matter what day it is. I'm rejoicing. Hallelujah. 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 
Hallelujah. I had to put that down. There I was driving along. Police officer saw me holding up the phone. Hey, pray. He let me go. Praise God. Yeah, I've given some grace to make this video. That's true. Doesn't mean I'm allowed to break the law. I'm just saying. I'm rambling, but I'm just. I am happy. I am very. You know, it is. It's a small. It's a miracle. It's a miracle, guys, that these cars were removed from this small town. And I had I had taken video shot you know shot video whatever you want to call it captured video of you see this old railroad line here in town this is Darlington and you know right here there were nothing but see that swing set right there I have a video where I captured the, right next to it within just do you see that it's like maybe two feet from the container there were there's a children's swing honestly this was filled with containers here guys isn't this amazing so they're all gone now hallelujah I can't even thank the governor. Um, maybe I will. I'll figure out a way. And and also our um, congressional rep and, sta and uh, Senate representatives here, you know, I, I don't know who it was. Maybe all of them had something to say about this. But I'm grateful. Hallelujah. This is when our representatives, you know, are like you, you, have nothing, you should have nothing but praise for them. When they step up and they influence these corporations to do the right thing. And this is what what you get because you see these are these are old tracks here they're not maintained anymore but you know norfolk southern was using them to store their uh, containers here tankers you know when it was hot you know outside you could smell them uh what's the word of that what's the what's the name of that north sea when something is uh when, when it gets hot like that and, it, and they give off a smell i'm sorry guys i can't remember the name of that but you know, it's like right next to these cho children living living here, and look at this, they're all gone, guys. All of those containers. And I'm just like, happy as can be. Hallelujah. It's really cool. 